Hello from Sakura Mobile. In this video, we will show you how to install a Sakura Mobile travel eSIM on your Android device. First, please make sure your phone is eSIM compatible and not locked by your carrier. Next, a stable internet connection is required for installation. Lastly, the eSIM can only be installed once, so please do not delete the eSIM from your phone after installation. The plan starts immediately when the eSIM is installed in your phone. You can install eSIM from abroad, however, we recommend you do it from Japan. Let's go to the first step. Before the installation, turn off other eSIMs or SIMs in your phone. Go to your Settings app and select Connections, SIM Manager. You can toggle chosen SIM slash eSIM off. Next, issue the eSIM QR code. Please check your emails and search for the email with the title QR code issue link or Sakura Mobile to find the link to your eSIM QR code. Please check the terms before issuing the QR code. Step 3. Install the eSIM profile. Go back to your setting, connections, SIM manager, and tap the add eSIM button. Now it's time to scan the QR code. Wait a minute, how do I scan the QR code with my phone when it is on my phone? Don't worry, you can upload it from your gallery. If you have another device, you can use it to scan, or you can print the QR code out. You can also manually input an activation code. If you are already in Japan, please select the Sakura eSIM for mobile data. And now you're all set. Some Android devices might need additional APN settings to access the internet. If that's your case, go to Settings, Connections, Mobile Networks, Access Point Names, and input the values specified in our instruction guide in this link or in the description. Now you're good to go. If you have any questions, please contact us. Enjoy your Japan journey with Sakura Mobile. Simple, clear, fast.